Oh, hi there. So there's a video of Canadian Conservative Party leader that's gone viral because it's, well, awesome. It features Pierre Polyev eating an apple while being interviewed by a local journalist. The end result is a masterclass in how to respond when you're in conversation with someone who disagrees with you. Take a look. Um, on the on the topic, I mean, in terms of your sort of strategy currently, you're obviously taking the populist uh, pathway. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> well, ap appealing appealing to people's uh, more emotional levels, I would guess. Um, I mean, what certainly, do you mean by that? certainly, you Give certainly you tap certainly you tap uh, very strong ideological language quite frequently. Like what? Uh, left wing, you know, this and that, right wing, they, you know, I mean, it's that, that type of ideological thing. I never really talk about left but or right. Anyways, a lot I of people... I don't really believe in that. Okay. A lot of people would, would say that you're simply taking a page out of the Donald Trump uh, book. Probably like which people would say that? Well, I'm sure a great many Canadians, but... Like who? <laughs> I don't know who, but... Well, you're the um, one who asked the question, so yeah. how, you must know somebody. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sure there's some out there, but anyways, the, the point of this, the point of this question is, I mean, why should why should Canadians trust you with their vote, given, you know, not not just the sort of ideological inclination in terms of taking the page of Donald Trump's book, but what are you also, talking about? What page? What page? Can you give okay. me a page? Give me the page. You keep <laughs> in, saying in terms that. in terms of tur turning things quite dramatically in terms of of Trudeau and and the left wing and all of this. I mean, you 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 make quite a you know it's it's quite a play that you make on it. So I'm I'm not just sure. Wondering. I don't under I don't know what your question okay. is. Okay, then forget that. Why should Canadians trust you with their vote? Common sense. All right, let's cut it off there. I want you to notice two things about this interaction. First, Pierre Polyev uses no less than seven simple questions to disarm this journalist. Notice how the reporter accuses Polyev of taking the populist pathway and using a page out of Trump's playbook. In response, he neutralizes these accusations by two simple questions, or at least two kinds of questions. The first is, what do you mean by that? It's the clarification question. When someone says something and you're not sure what they mean, or someone calls you a name, or someone makes an accusation against you, it's important to clarify what they mean. In this interview, Polyev is accused of obviously taking the populist pathway. In response, he asks, what do you mean by that? This is a brilliant question. Before he can respond to the claim, he needs to get clarification on the claim. So he asks, what do you mean by that? The second question in Polyev's arsenal is how do you come to that conclusion or some variation of it? This is a demand for evidence. When the journalist accuses Polyev of using very strong ideological language, he asks, like what? Rather than get defensive or lose his cool, Polyev simply asks for some evidence for the claim. When he's accused of taking a page out of Donald Trump's book, he asks, what page? Give me the page. Unfortunately, this reporter thought he could get away with slogans rather than substance, and these questions put that on full display. So the first thing I want you to notice is Polyev's masterful use of questions. Second, I want you to notice how comfortable Polyev looks during this entire exchange. Doesn't he look totally relaxed just enjoying his apple? This isn't a coincidence. By skillfully using questions, he's able to stay out of the hot seat and in the driver's seat in this conversation. Questions keep you safe even when you're being questioned by a journalist. So whatever your political leanings, I think we can all appreciate this masterclass in using good questions in tough conversations.